Hi everyone, it's Paul from Alexandria Knife Sharpening and Laser Engraving. What I wanted to show you was a solution that I've come up with for the X-Tool S1 crumb tray and honeycomb grid moving around on people. So if you're using the riser base, and this is who this mostly affects, you have to take the screws out of the comb tray when it sits at the highest level. And the riser base is kind of like an oven it's got little slots and you slide it into whatever level you need to make room for it if you're putting something bigger in the engraver. The problem with that has been that once you take the screws out of that upper level crumb tray, it, move, it will move around a little bit and it's causing people to have problems with the honeycomb grid shifting and the crumb tray shifting or either one of them moving causing everything to move. And I noticed this on some of the engravings I did the very first time. I was like, why is it doing the same line over? And what I didn't realize was it was actually the, uh, the tray was moving. So I came up with a really simple solution that works great. Now, uh, some people build uh, jigs for doing it. I know uh, Clack Shack out there has a, a great uh, jig that he's designed that you can uh, put into some of these old uh, screws to do it. Um, but I think this is even a little bit more uh, simple because you don't have to build the jig. Now, jigs are nice, and it's definitely uh, not a knock on that at all. I actually bought his jigs, and it is nice to have jigs if you're doing repeated things of the same stuff. But let me just show you what I did here. So all I did was I took grub screws... And I put knurled brass nuts on them. And you can get these on Amazon. I'll put a link to them in here. And these work really, really great for keeping everything locked in place. So the only downside is on the top tray, when you go to lock that in, you need a, a grub screw that is one and three quarters inch. And on all the other la layers below it, you need a grub screw that's at least two inches. Unfortunately, the two inch one, it would have been great if, if they were all the same size. Uh, you could have got away with doing this with just the two inch, but you actually do need two sizes. If you're only going to lock in at the top tray, you can get away with just uh, one set of these at one and three quarters inches. But if you want to do the lower trays like you see I have down here, then you need the 2-inch uh, because the shelf where the uh, tray goes into and rests on sits a little bit further back than it does on the very top layer. On the top level, we go into this part right here, and below it, we have to lock in below here. You can't go up against the wall. Uh, you would need even longer screws but it would also make it a little difficult uh to tighten I, I guess you probably could do it but you might literally need like a three or even four inch grub screw for that but these are working just fine for me the two inch and the one and three quarter and let me just show you what i do with them so they're smooth on this end so it's not going to dig in or mess anything up uh normally you would have these turned around the other way but it's nice, so you got the knurled part to be able to tighten it into place. And then you have a nice smooth end here for it to push up against the, the laser or the crumb tray to keep everything in, in its proper spot. So I'm just going to take this out and show you how well it works on the top. So you can see, here's where the screws used to be, but you take them out and you don't put them back in once you put the riser base back in. Because uh, the only place that uses them is the very top. All right, so you'll see I'm going into the top here. And here's the problem. You can see without anything, you can have a lot of movement in here from this tray. And this thing moves. It's a very fast laser, so it's moving back and forth. And that little bit of movement can cause this tray to move around. When this thing was locked in with the screws, it wasn't an issue. But So what I do is just simply... I like to push the uh, crumb tray up against this side nice and flush. And then for this one, I just need 
the one and three quarter inch size and I found two works perfect. You just do one at each end of your honeycomb grid. So I can come down here and I'll just start opening up this screw till it gets a little snug. Now I'm not going crazy and cranking on it. It doesn't really doesn't need that to stay in place. So I'm going to put this one down here and start doing the same thing. So this one's and I'll start unscrewing that. And that is good. And you might get this a couple times. So like I, as I tighten that, I might have to come back to the other side and tighten it a little bit because it will kind of push it. But I'm mainly looking to just make sure that I'm nice and even, that my crumb tray is nice and even on this side. So once I see that's good and even, I just make sure these are both snug but not crazy cranking because I do want to be able to get them back out again. And you can see I'm good to go. And now you can see this thing's not going anywhere. I can't even, I can't even move it. Yeah, it's good. And it's, and it locks because of this, because the crumb trays push, because the uh, honeycomb grids pushing up against the crumb tray, it locks that crumb tray in place too. So, uh, and I'll give you a, let me just zoom in here and give you a little closer look at these things. All right, so there's the grub screws, which are simply these right here. They're the kind that you could put like a hex uh, key in to tighten something into place. And then you just need these nice narrowed brass uh, screws that you can get pretty easily at, at just about any hardware store. I got them on Amazon. I'll put a link to them in there. And like I said, just be sure to get the lengthwise, the length for the top tray needs to be one and three quarter inches. And for all the slots below it need to be two inches. And then these are the uh, just knurled brass nuts. And these are one quarter inch by 20 screws. And it's the same, uh, the nuts are just one quarter inch by 20 uh, thread screws. Very easy to get. You can find these just about everywhere. Uh, the only downside was I did have to buy. Uh, they didn't have like just a really small packs, but it's fine. I um, I use these for other things all over my shop, and it can't hurt having a, a couple of these uh, extra around. But I will put links in there. I think these came in 20, and these were... Uh, packs of 10 they actually came as two packs of five but i couldn't find anyone selling less than uh than 10 but um so that's that and like i said once again if you need to do if you want to do both sides uh, if you want to be able to lock in all the lower levels you're going to need the longer two inch and for the top tray one and three quarters inch all right so i hope that helps some of you guys out there with locking your uh crumb tray in place but it's really great uh, especially with the new software updates that Xtool just did. This gives you a really uh, great way to uh, be able to engrave just about anywhere on here when your tray is not moving and your material is not moving all over the place. So uh, that's my solution. Hope that helps you all out. Have a great day.